This video is about designing responsive sites. Now, as we all know, responsive sites are such that they look equally good on different screen sizes, which means they grow on screens that are small and divide the screen on larger devices like laptops. So, we'll essentially learn how to define different CSS for different screen sizes. The sizes will adjust automatically according to screen sizes. We need to begin by defining different CSS for different screen sizes. Let us start. Create an HTML page. We'll change the title to different CSS shows our intention. Next, delete the comments and delete the default content that NetBeans has posted. We'll just return content in the body, keep it as simple as possible. Now define the style tag and within that we define a body tag style for the body of the page and set background dash color yellow. This is the default color of the body that is of the page. Now we'll define another CSS. Start with at the rate media. Choose a screen. This is for a screen. We can also choose for printers. We'll see that in a future post. And we defined the mean width for this new CSS, the mean width had been set to 500 pixel. Now, whenever the screen size goes below 500, the default one that is background color yellow for the body will take over. And this will begin after we cross the 500 threshold. That is from 500 to above threshold, this new style that we're defining that will take over. Here we have set background color equal to green and there we have set background color equal to yellow. See, this is the default. When the screen size goes smaller, there. When it goes smaller, you get to see, that is below 500, you get to see the default style which is yellow and when it goes beyond that, you get to a green style. This is the fundamental maneuver in defining responsive CSS. Define different CSS for different screen sizes. First one is the default screen size that we define and that and the next one where we give the media screen and the mean width that is for a different range. Now we'll start with defining responsive sites. First of all, you define a row. See, everything will be placed inside a row and then we'll have columns inside the row. So the row will have a width of 100%. It will always occupy the full screen. Position would be relative and will clear. We'll clear both the left and the right floats so that the row always begins on a new line. Next, we'll define a size half. See, this is the default size. And this also means that it is the one that will be used when we go for smaller screen sizes. And on small screen sizes, we want the whole thing to go into 100% width. Therefore, we define half width 100% position relative and float left. Things must go from right to left. 
Next, we'll define another screen size, half. This is quarter. Quarter would be 25%, but here it will be 100%. Keep in mind that this particular st style that we're defining is when the site is being displayed, rather the web page is being displayed on a small device. Okay. Now we'll redefine those things for sizes starting from 500 pixel and going above. See, row, row would always be 100%. Clear both and position relative. Now, define the half CSS class once again. And in this case, we'll actually make it half by putting the width at 50%. Width 50%. Position relative. Float would be left. The default screen had half at 100% and th everything was at 100%. And in this case, we are defining the actual style for larger surfaces. So half width is 50%. Quarter would be 25%. Now, we'll define some content. Start with div, class is equal to row. Always start with a row and put columns inside it. And the columns will contain the content. Then div, class is equal to half. We write half inside it just so that we can recognize. Define a background color as well, so that you can differentiate. Background dash color, red. We define another div, class equal to half. The two halves will make up full 100%, 50% and 50% on a large screen. And on a smaller screen, they will each become 100% according to the default CSS. Background dash color, let's put it at yellow. Right half inside the div, that's as we said is just for identification. Now. Check it, yes, it's correct. The divs are correctly closed. So we viewed it in a browser, there you are. On the smaller screens, they were stacked up vertically and on the large screen, they divide the screen and cover up the whole screen because each one of them is 50%, half. Let us define a new row, div, class equal to row, div, class equal to quarter, we are defining for a 25% screen, right quarter over there. Define a background color so that you can differentiate. We choose pink. Again, define a div. 
See, we have just used 25% till now. In this case, we are making the middle part half. So we'll actually be covering up a full 75%, 25% plus 50%. Background color green here. Right half. Now we'll go for a new screen. Divide the rest of the quarter. Quarter 25%, half 75%, and then another quarter 25%, that makes it total 100%. Drag it now, increase the size, see. You get 25% on one end, 25% on the other end, and 50% in the middle. And when you drag it smaller, the things adjust by themselves. You get a vertical stack up. This actually is the essence of being responsive. Check it up once again. Half, half, quarter, half, quarter. Half once again. Check the code. Row 100%, half 50%, quarter 25%. For the 500 plus pixel screen size, divs placed, rows, and then under the rows we have columns, half, quarter, etc. Now, Let's say we want a centered div where we use 50% of the screen in the middle and don't use it sideways. The other halves, see. I've changed the color to orange, the centered one. Write a blank NBSP in both the quarters. Watch it now. See, only the middle one is covered and the both sides you get just small pink screens. The centered part is the orange one. You might not want to use the left sides and the right sides, you just use the middle. Centered content is what you want. Other ways of achieving that, we can either define visibility hidden or go for display None. Let's check up. Visibility hidden. See, we tried display none. Display none actually removes it from the content. So it goes out. The content isn't measured and our centered screen came to the left. Now using visibility hidden, you actually get to keep the content. It adds to the screen size but isn't visible. Now we get what we want. We got a centered div where the left and the right is empty. This allows you to center content on a responsive screen. And it still is responsive.
check up the style sheet once again default style where everything is 100 percent media max mean width 500 pixel where everything is defined according to requirement full screen 100 percent half a screen 50 percent quarter 25 percent there you are quarter is 25 percent this is very important and it's at the core of responsiveness is one of the most important maneuvers in CSS of the current day that's it thank you ladies and gentlemen